Brian Edwards founded Locke's legacy after her 10-month-old son, Lachlan, died of SIDS. The loss of a child is life-changing, and grief can affect everyone differently, not only emotional, but physical pain as well. Brian says that bereaved parents need to remember to take care of themselves. Taking the time to give yourself room to grieve, give yourself space to recover, let your body rest, um, you know, feed your body with something that nourishes it. Uh, those are just as important in the grief process as the emotional processing. Brian says that it's important to reach out to a bereaved parent. It's easy to talk ourselves out of showing up. Um, we can think that there's nothing I can do anyway. I don't know what to say. Um, they've got other people that are there. And so we talk ourselves out of being there. As the griever, to have people that are willing to accompany you in that is huge in the healing process. Just being there and simply listening can help a wounded heart. I just think being aware that the grieving goes on beyond what you would imagine and that if they are visibly grieving, to just provide a hug. Uh, let's go to coffee. Not necessarily to provide counseling. And sometimes there's not a right thing to say. You can also show support to the parents by remembering the child's birthday or anniversary of their death and extending a thoughtful message or phone call on holidays. Other ways to show support are physical care acts like doing their laundry, cooking meals, house cleaning, or giving gift cards. And lastly, memorializing the child with plaques or a bench in their name or planting a tree in their memory. Having some permanence, something physical and tangible to remember their spot is always meaningful. Support groups are also helpful in times of need to connect with others who have had similar experiences. In Rapid City, Anya Mueller, New Center One.